Hello everybody, my name is Anatoly and today we're watching South Park Christian Rock Hard. Let's see how this goes. Move. A bit off, but... Stan, are you okay? Yeah, Dad, we're just rehearsing our band. Oh, I thought a group of Vietnamese people were having their intestines pulled out through their mouths. <laughs> <laughs> by the Viet Cong, of course. Let's be honest, it was not that bad. From all the gigs I've been to throughout my life, this kicks ass. We've got Kenny on drums, Stan on guitar, Kyle on bass guitar, and of course, Cartman on vocals. <laughs> He's right, dude. We have to define our style if we're ever going to make a platinum album. I mean, I I'm a fusion Platinum guy. album. Kenny's background is more Latin jazz. <laughs> yeah, and I'm more hip-hop and R&B oriented. I have <laughs> a whole bunch of music CDs to listen to for inspiration. Inspiration. Wait a minute. That's it. Inspiration, you guys. Don't you see? See what? Our band should play Christian rock. Christian rock? Christian rock? Think about it. Like Skillet. God damn it. I used to go to Christian camps when I was a kid, and they used to play all day long goddamn Skillet. Christian rock? Think about it. It's the easiest, crappiest music in the world, right? If we just play songs about how much we love Jesus, all the Christians will buy our crap. That's Hell a retarded yeah. idea, Cartman. It worked for Creed. Uh. I don't want to be in a stupid... <laughs> it worked for Creed. My ass wide open. I'm very sorry to have ruined your sanity if you do not know that version of Creed, but you should know that version of Creed. We're well, ass wide open under the coke sauce. You just start that way, Stan, then you cross over. It's genius. Just get the hell out of here, Cartman. It is genius. You're and you're a detriment to the band. Oh, yeah? I will bet you 10 bucks that if I start a Christian rock band, I can get a platinum album before you guys do. You're on, fat boy. Okay, fine. Ready? First one to have a platinum album wins. Go. <laughs> God damn it, Cartman is onto something. This might be the biggest mistake that the kids have ever done. Cartman is basically like Lars Ulrich from Metallica. He can't play shit, but he knows the goddamn business. Christian rock. What a stupid asshole. This stupid asshole is gonna get a platinum album. Platinum album, platinum album. Platinum album before Kyle. <laughs> So excited. Oh, hi, Eric. Butters, get your drum set and meet me at my house. We have to make a platinum album. Hurry, Butters. Oh. No time to waste. Platinum album. Whose house platinum is album. this? Token. Token. Get out of your basement and meet me over at my house. What? We don't have a bass guitar. Your family's black, Token. There's bound to be a. <laughs> <laughs> And you know what? There's gonna be a bass guitar in his basement. Token, there's some ancestral muscle memory in you, goddammit. Never get between Cartman and his platinum album. His Christian platinum album. The way he's running. Boy, you sure seem driven, Eric. You must really have some inspiration. Yes, the tears of Kyle Braslaski when he loses his $10. <laughs> hey, there was a <laughs> thing. I told you, Token. So, what are we doing? Gentlemen, we are about to embark on the most amazing, life-affirming, financially wind-falling experiences of our young lives. Wow! We are going to start a Christian rock band. Uh. I'm out. Uh, Wait, token. You walk out that door, Token, and you'll regret it the rest of your life. Yes. Don't do what Kyle and Stan did. And that goddamn whore, Kenny. Cartman has already discovered the formula of Creed. This son of a bitch is unstoppable. Christians have a built-in audience of over 180 million Americans. If each one of them bought just one of our albums at $12.95, that would be... $2,331,000,000. Still want to leave, Token? Thank you. That's some good persuasion skill. Dad, can I borrow $300? $300? What in the world for? Our band can't find a stylistic direction to go in. We need to go down to the mall to buy hundreds of CDs to listen to so we can define our sound. No, you don't. I'm sorry, Kyle. We gave you your allowance already. Uh, can't you see? This is my dream. Music is my life. It wasn't your life yesterday. Look, Pops. I've got the music inside me. It's Bob. in my soul. And I know my place is up on that stage. I'm going to make it to the top. And I just want your blessing, Pops. The answer is no, Kyle. Oh, come on, Dad, don't be such a Jew. Kyle, don't believe me. <laughs> God damn it, he used the Jew card on his father. You know what? In this episode, I'm fully on the side of Cartman. Kyle tries to get inspired by buying new records, whereas Cartman is already writing goddamn Christian music. Hey, dude, it didn't work. My stupid Jew dad won't let me money for CDs. No, dude, it's cool. Kenny says you can download music for free on the internet. Hell yeah. Woo! You got a computer? See, everyone on the internet copies music from their CDs, and then we can download them for free and play them on the computer. 
All right, cool. Let's download some Metallica and some Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Let's download some Metallica. They are on Napster, right? They're gonna find out for whom the bell tolls. Thank God Lars Ulrich is gonna let this one go. Kenny's right, we should download some Judas Priest, too. Hell yeah, painkiller. Wow, downloading music for free is awesome. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> down on the ground, down on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they literally needed a pry bar for that door of Kyle's. Poor kids, they have never heard of such a lethal combination as a Russian tracker and VPN. Of course, downloading and piracy in general, it's so bad, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not recommending it. Hands in those hands! Tango team is at point, Bravo. Suspects in custody. Move, 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 move. That, that's not goddamn point, Bravo. That's Kyle's room. Move, 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 move. Kyle, what did you do? I don't know! All right, guys, this is gonna be so easy. All we have to do to make Christian songs is take regular old songs and add Jesus stuff to them. See, all we have to do is cross out words like baby and darling and replace them with... No! <laughs> <laughs> this kid is a goddamn genius! For example, you take Metallica songs and replace Master of Puppets with Jesus Christ. Just give me a beat. Okay, nice, very nice. All right, Token, give me a smooth bass line. I don't know how to play bass. Token, how many times do we have to go through this? You're black, you can play bass. I'm getting sick of your stereotypes. Be as sick as you want, just give me a goddamn bass line. <laughs> Close South Park, it's not getting better than this. Jesus Christ, I can already predict that this is gonna be one of the best South Park episodes ever. Alright, nice fellas. Nice. I need you in my life. Jesus. Hell yeah. I can't live without you. Jesus. And I just want to feel you deep inside me. Jesus. <laughs> Don't go into that territory. How deep inside you do you want to feel Jesus? You know, one time I let Jesus so deep inside of me that I've got issues with my prostate now. Wait, is this the first time that Yolanda is introduced in South Park? If my mind does not trick me, this is the first time that we see Harrison Eats in South Park. Write that down, write that down. My god. Sir? Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! You downloaded a lot of songs. Says here you even downloaded Judas Priest? Painkiller. It's a hard time you boys are looking at. You got anything to say? <laughs> we d didn't think it was that big a deal. Not a big deal? You think downloading music for free is not a big deal? Put your coats on. I'm gonna show you something. What? And I don't think you're gonna like it. How big of a deal is it? Isn't piracy primarily the reason that some bands, they get globally established? I know that it's money being taken away from the artist, but it's also an investment, a long-term investment. But I really hope they get sentenced to life for Judas Priest. This is the home of Lars Ulrich, the drummer from Metallica. Look, there's Lars now, sitting by his pool. What's the matter with him? This month he was hoping to have a gold-plated Shark Tank bar installed right next to the pool. But thanks to people downloading his music for free, <laughs> he must now wait a few months before... <laughs> God damn you, Lars! He must wait a couple of months! Only in this dark hour do I understand the consequences of pirating. But a little complaint to the South Park animators, Lars Ulrich is not this handsome. Maybe this is the reason he had sex with his snare and created Saint Anger. <laughs> Come, there's more. Here's Britney Spears' private jet. Notice anything? Britney used to have a Gulfstream 4. Now she's had to sell it and get a Gulfstream 3 because people like you <laughs> chose to download her music. <laughs> I hope Britney gets a Boeing. I really hope Britney gets a Boeing. No, 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 I think Britney's actually quite likable. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift should get a Boeing. The Gulfstream 3 doesn't even have a remote control for its surround sound DVD system. Still think downloading music for free is no big deal? We didn't realize what we were doing. <laughs> Folly of man. 
<laughs> the folly of man! Here you see the loving family of Master P. Next week is his son's birthday, and all he's ever wanted is an island in French Polynesia. So God damn it, stop! I also want an island in French Polynesia. Or in Polynesia that is not French. But I like how the kids are literally emotionally perplexed by this folly of man. Get it, right? I see an island without an owner. If things keep going the way they are, the child will not get his tropical paradise. We're sorry, we'll, we'll never download music for free again! Man must learn to think of these horrible outcomes before he acts selfishly or else, I fear, recording artists will be forever doomed to a life of only semi-luxury. Recording artists would be doomed to a life of uh, semi-luxury. I believe that is the type of injustice that we should fight in our world. I'm gonna tell you a little something. If it wasn't for piracy, I would have never started this channel in the first place. Look what piracy has done, ladies and gentlemen. Look what kind of a monster it has created. Of course, I'm talking about GTA 5 here. I would never download something. Except for child porn. Almost there, guys. The goddamn cross. Why the hell did you tell us to dress nice to take us out here? Because, Token, we have to take pictures for our album cover. The key to a hot dog is <laughs> inspirational album cover. Wait, 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 wait. Let Papa cook. Nah, for a second I thought this was a Creed album cover. Maybe you know the reference, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, well, Nito, an album cover. This Christian album better make as much money as you said it would, Tubby. I'm going to kill you one day, Token. What did you say? Nothing. All right, guys, stand over there. Do it, do it, carpet. I have a timer on this thing so I can get in the shot, too. Gonna kill you one day, Token. No, no, no. Haven't you guys ever seen an album cover? You're supposed to be standing in random places, looking away like you don't care. <laughs> Cheese! No, Butters, you can't look happy on an album cover. That's not cool. Yeah. People are not gonna understand your pain if you look happy. Let me show you the kind of face that you should make in those cases. Well, I just heard... Look at this. This is business here. This is where the money lies. Token, look away to the right. More. More. Why the hell would I be looking way over there? So it looks like you're too cool to care that you're on an album cover, you black asshole. <laughs> Our first album cover. <laughs> Don't ever leave me, Jesus. This is goddamn legendary. My heart would simply snap, my lord, if you walked on out that door. I promise I'll be good to you and keep you warm at night. <laughs> Keep you warm at night. This right here is destined for glory. I really like the fact that Cartman had to write on his hand that Jesus is great. In case he forgot, of course. Jesus, 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 why don't we just shut off the light? <laughs> don't shut off the light. God damn it, this is faith plus one. <laughs> Thanks for releasing them to us, Detective. Sorry for all the trouble they caused. It's all right. I think these boys learned their lesson. Boy, I'll say. If you parents will just step over here, you can pay their $400 release and penalty fees. $400? Just well, that's okay, that's okay. Compared to the fines that you would get in Germany for illegally downloading, that's okay. But my friends, let me tell you a little secret. There exists such a beautiful country as Moldova. And I'm not gonna tell you anything else. It's not that big a deal. Not a big deal, huh? Come with me. I'm gonna show you something. Raise. I don't Raise like awareness. I like it. Ugh, dude, I can't wait to just go back home. Wait a second, wait a second, guys. You have told me that Harrison Eats was already present in the episode Little Crime Stoppers, but he did not have a mustache. Now look to your right. This is not goddamn Yolanda. I can't wait to just go back home and get back to band practice. Ugh. No! Didn't you guys learn anything? Look, if we make an album, all that's gonna happen is that people are gonna steal our songs for free off the internet. We won't make a dime! Oh, yeah. Until we get people to stop downloading music for free, I say we refuse to play. Tom, I know how to do that. I know how to do that. Let me show you. The most efficient way to do so is the power of a social clip. Uh, hey, come look at the site. Oh, cool. Can you download the Foo Fighters? Uh, yeah. Foo Fighters. What did I do? You know it's illegal. Download copyrighted music. I'm taking you in. <laughs> I'm taking you in. Pay for music. Never legally download. What did I say? Do you still want to download? Are you not entertained? Where the rock band Moop has refused to play. Moop. The strike started yesterday and could go well in the next week. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? We're not letting you back in the band, Cartman. Fuck off. I don't want to be in your crappy band, guys. I just wanted to let you know the album for my Christian rock band, Faith Plus One, is about to go platinum. 
It is? Hell yeah. That's right. We've already sold 13 copies. You want to pay me that? <laughs> God damn it. I thought it was already in the range of millions. But you know what? Just wait for a Christian label to come in. With the mighty power of the Lord, you can even hit number one in the Polish charts. <laughs> <laughs> for selling one million copies, you fat turd. It's just a matter of time, my friends. This weekend is Christfest, the single largest gathering of Christfest. Each one of them a walking, praying wallet full of cash. And I'll be there selling my album. <laughs> You'll never get a platinum album doing Christian rock, Cartman. It was a stupid idea then, and it's a stupid idea now. Yeah, you don't even know anything about Christianity. I know enough to exploit it. <laughs> I know enough to exploit it. Once again, this is one of those few episodes where I actually want to see Cartman succeed. The boys are just resentful, envious bitches in this case. Go ahead! People will just download your songs for free on the internet anyways! What a dumbass. Our band is way cooler than his. Ugh. It's not. Christ vest tonight! <laughs> Psalm t-shirts, leather bound Bible, Christ Almighty and the company. Psalm t-shirts, get a t-shirt with your favorite psalm. Leather bound Bible, show your faith. <laughs> yes, it's really the best Christian album that's ever been produced, actually. Ooh, this would be great for my grandchildren. They need hip cool music, but with inspirational lyrics. I think Weird. that's what the whole world needs. Praise Christ. <laughs> <laughs> We're just pretending we are. Butters, are you retarded? Butters, remind me later to cut your balls off. No, 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 now! Do it now! Butters is a liability to this whole operation. If I had a Christian band, I would call it Austin 316. Right, everyone! Welcome to Christ Fest 2003! <laughs> Are you ready for some live music? Yeah! yeah Holy dude. shit. Then let's give it up now for one of Christian Rock's biggest bands, Trinity! <laughs> Shepherd and the light <laughs> lifted me up And I praise his holy I still prefer the Shepherd of Fire of Avenged Sevenfold, but this is still good. Shepherd and the goddamn light of Trinity. They don't do a wall of death at those concerts, they do a wall of life. Damn it! If we're gonna sell our hot Christian album, we have got to get on that stage! Hey, is this the way to the backstage? Who are you? We're the band Sanctified. We play metal and punk, but with lyrics that inspire faith in Christ. Yeah, we prove that Christian music can be tough and hardcore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real hardcore. Is it a real thing, ladies and gentlemen? Is, it, is Sanctify a real thing? I wish those sons of bitches were actually real. Imagine you just walk into a tattoo salon and you're like, I want 15 crosses on this hand and 15 crosses on this hand. And a Judas on my balls. Gosh darn rear end we are. All right, uh, Sanctified, you guys are up next. Yeah, let's do it! Stand down from heaven, spirit and the glory! <laughs> Stand down from heaven, spirit and the glory! This is music for the soul, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, guys, wait, uh, we want to pray with you before you go on stage. Oh, that, that's cool. Always good to be praying before you're playing. Let's just go over here so we can hear ourselves better. Lord, Father in heaven, we thank you for all your blessings. <laughs> That was easy. Butters, I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you one day. Right. Just like Token. Imagine if Jesus from Salt Park actually heard the songs of Cartman. Christians, how we feeling tonight? Yeah, praise Jesus! Praise <laughs> Jesus! Well, let's keep this salvation train going with the hot band Sanctified. Uh, uh, apparently there's been a change. Give it up for Faith Plus One. You know, Jesus, I've been thinking a lot about you lately, and that's why I wrote this song. I love you, Jesus. I take good care of you, baby. Call you my baby, baby. <laughs> you died for my sin, and you know that I would die for you, right? <laughs> Amazing. It really sounds as if Cartman wants a piece of Jesus. All you gotta do is open your heart and your butt cheeks. What's the matter, baby? You're trembling, Jesus, baby. Your love is my life. You know when I'm without you, there's a black hole in my life. Oh, I wanna believe it's all right, but I get lonely in the night. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get lonely in the night. That is not the job of Jesus to help you in those cases. This episode is reigniting that orthodox power in me. Oh, 
Dude, I didn't know being in a band was going to be this tough. Yeah, it's tough. But it's times like these that you see what your band is made of. You yeah. Gotta fight through the rough times like Journey. Yes, even before writing music, you should start striking. I really hope Rage Against the Machine is going to join them on this task. Tom, we're now entering the second day of the rock band Moop's refusal to play and the second day of absolutely no other news to report on. In a recent poll, we asked people if Moop's refusal to play would stop them from downloading music off the internet. 1% said yes, 2% said no, and 97% said, who the hell is Moop? Back to you, Tom. Hey, are you the guys protesting free internet music? God damn, Metallica. It's that Lars Ulrich guy. That's right. Metallica is behind you, dude, a thousand percent. We're this is the time when they wrote Saint Anger. Tough times, tough times, ladies and gentlemen. I don't care what everybody thinks, but the best bassist of Metallica is motherfucking Jason Newstead. A thousand percent. We're gonna sit here and protest with you until free downloading stops, yeah. Yeah! Tom, it appears now the musician strike is growing. As I'm speaking, more musicians are arriving. It looks like Alanis Morissette, Blink-182, Britney Spears, and dozens of others are going to join Moop in not- Wait, even Mitlo. Even the band of Timmy from the third season with the Tyler, or how the hell was he called? Playing music. This is a veritable strike-a-palooza. Strike-a-palooza. Faith Records. Guys, we here at Faith Records were very moved by your performance at Christfest. You're one of the most talented Christian rock bands we've ever heard. Thank you so much. Christ has really blessed us with talent. <laughs> yeah. We just had one question, though. We were looking over some of your lyrics. Uh, I want to walk hand in hand with Jesus on a private beach for two. What, what, what's the problem with that? What is the problem with that? Are you Christophobic, sir? That's exactly how pure love without margins looks like. I want him to nibble on my ear and say I'm here for you. It, it seems you really love Christ. Yes, we sure do. Uh, no, but it, it appears you are actually in love with Christ. <laughs> well, what are you saying? That, that you don't really love Christ? Well, of, of course I do. I mean, I just... Well, what's the difference? You love Christ, you're in love with Christ? I mean, uh, what the heck is this? Uh, we just like to make sure the bands we sign are in it for God and not for the money. I resent that, sir. I have never in my life done anything just for the money. If I'm lying, may the Lord strike me down right now. Oh! <laughs> the way Butters is like, nah, 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 hell no. Nah. Hell no. I think God is fully on the side of Garvin on this one. Especially when he wants to have sex with his son. That's all we needed to know. Just sign here and we'll get your album sold. k -Tel Records presents <laughs> the most inspirational Christian rock band in the world. Faith Plus One. Featuring the very best in good, wholesome Christian music. Oh Lord, you are my savior. You know I miss you so much when you are gone. <laughs> With great inspirational songs like I Wasn't Born Again Yesterday. <laughs> Maybe born again, but I wasn't born again yesterday. <laughs> I wanna get down on my knees and start pleasing. <laughs> Close, close South Park. It's not getting better than this. I want to get down on my knees and start pleasing Jesus. I want to feel his salvation all over my face. No! Not his salvation all over your face! Butter screamy salvation. Who doesn't remember? The body of Christ. Sleek swimmer's body all mustard up and toned. The body of Christ. Oh, what a body. I wish I could call it my own. Touch me, One Jesus. Ten. Two times. Three times my savior. Whenever I see Jesus up on that cross, I can't help but think that he looks kinda high. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die by the end of this episode. I honestly hope for this album to go platinum. It's legendary. It's not available in stores, and limited quantities are available, so order now. I can't take this much longer. Maybe we're just not cut out to be in a band. You guys, we can't give up on our dreams now. As soon as this strike ends, we're gonna be the biggest band ever. Yeah, if we all give in now, people might never stop downloading our music for free. I'm sure we're gonna get word any minute that people have agreed to stop. Certified letter for the rock band, Moop. That's us. From Cardman. I hate you guys. I hate you guys with every single confederate fiber of my body. Screw you guys. I'm gonna get a platinum album. Dear Moop. This letter is to inform you that Faith Plus One's debut album has just sold one million copies. What? 
We cordially invite you to attend the Platinum Album Awards Ceremony, which will be held tomorrow morning at 10. Details and proof of sales enclosed. Hell yeah. Na 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 na. Ha 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 ha. Na na He did it. Carmen got a Platinum Album. Is this for real? This is for real. You know why? Because he kept working. He kept getting on his knees, praising Jesus, getting his salvation all over his face, while you were here horsing around with Lars Uri. He beat us. Because all this time we've been so caught up with how to protect our music that we forgot to just play. But why play if we're not going to make millions of dollars? Because that's what real artists do. People are always going to find a way to copy our music and swap it for free. If we're real musicians, then we should just play and be stoked that so many people are listening. Besides, maybe our songs would have gotten downloaded for free, but if they were good songs, then people still would have bought tickets to see our band in concert. Hell yeah. From now on, Moop isn't about money. Moop is about music. We're not striking anymore. Who's with us? Uh, about uh, the money. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe that Ozzy is also here. And also, I'm kind of surprised about the fact that Kenny is not running away because last time he bit his fucking head off. Dude, what are you going to do about your bet with Cartman? Are you going to pay him? I don't have a choice, dude. I'm going to swallow my pride, face Carmen, and say, congratulations, you were right. And I'm going to give him the $10. And hopefully, he won't make a big deal out of it. Oh. <laughs> I think this is even bigger than the Scott Tennerman announcement. I have a slight suspicion that he might have used all of his money on this goddamn carnival. Welcome, welcome everyone. Please enjoy. The presentation should begin shortly. Carmen, what the hell is all this? Our platinum album ceremony has spared no expense. But you spent all the money we made. We're face plus one token. There'll be plenty more money. Relax and enjoy, black asshole. There's hors d'oeuvres and drinks by the Ferris wheel, everyone. Oh. Okay, I'm not on the side of Cartman anymore. Butters could have literally become a millionaire, but no. All the money on this carnival. I don't think that even Christ is going to be able to offer you his salvation all over your face after this. Yeah, it's so nice to see you. Let's just get this over with, Cartman. You won the bed. Here's $10. Oh, no, 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 no. Not yet, Cap. Hold on. Everyone, everyone, can I have your attention, please? We lost him! Praise Christ! Praise Christ! Thanks, thank you, praise him. I think we're ready to start now. Welcome to the presentation ceremony for Faith Plus One. And now to present the award, here is Michael Collins. This is the worst day of my life. Ah, this is the best day of my life. Boys, in recognition of over one million records sold, the Christian recording industry is pleased to present you with this Murr album. Mirror album? <laughs> what the hell is a mirror album? Overview. Mirror is a yellow flagrant sap-like resin that comes out of cuts in the bark of certain Comifora trees, including the Comifora Murham tree. That don't sound like platinum to me. Thank you, Reg- Mirror album? I thought albums went either gold or platinum. No, no, in Christian rock, our albums go gold and frankincense and myrrh. Congratulations! <laughs> Our bet was that you would get a platinum album, not a murder album. I don't owe you anything, fat <laughs> you I can never get a platinum album with a Christian rock band? No, but you can go double mer. <laughs> double mer. Double resin. I knew he should have created a Muslim rock band. Fave C4. God damn it! <gasps> oh, please don't take the Lord's name in vain. Who cares? I can never win my bet because you stupid assholes don't give out platinum albums. But you spread the word of the Lord. You brought faith in Jesus. Oh, Jesus! <gasps> ah! Eric, I'm pretty sure you shouldn't say that word about Jesus. Yeah, you're gonna hurt the band. Who f cares, Token? I can never beat Kyle now. I'll say it again. F Jesus. Ah! Somebody kick the ass of this guy. This is Gamora all over again. Good job, dickhead. You lost the entire audience. Now ah, f you, Token, you black asshole. Ah! Oh! Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guess he got what he deserved. <laughs> Butters! <laughs> How is he able to do that? Please tell me that lightning is gonna strike him right now. Uh. The ending would have been a bit nicer if we had lightning like in the Sentai Pad episode. Ladies and gentlemen, this is easily in top three episodes of South Park that I've seen so far. It's just fantastic. I don't have enough words to articulate that. Initially, I was fully on the side of Carbon. I wanted to see that son of a bitch succeed because of his genius, lucrative idea. A Christian rock band like, like Creed or Skillet. The word of Christ is nice, but the word of Christ in E minor 
even nicer. Also the token gag about him being able to play bass because of uh, implication. The strategy of replacing baby and love with Jesus and Christ, that just blew a funny fuse in me. We are officially closing this channel, it's not gonna get better than that. But you know, that's sort of what I say every single week about South Park. Now everything that's left for me to do is get on my knees, start praising Jesus and feel his salvation. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? He looked kinda hot when he was up on that cross. The ending of the episode was also pretty reasonable, cause let's be honest, we would not let Carbon win. But that was it for today, thank you for watching this with me, like, subscribe, comment, all the usual stuff. Skin games, and we game here. I'll take a day, I'll take a